this is Asnan and you're watching Trending Codes. So uh, from this tutorial, uh, we're, go we're gonna start something new. Uh, we're gonna start something cool, uh, which is not on the YouTube for the Ionic tutorial. Uh, but before I proceed further, uh, I, I will just let you know what we're going to do. Before I let you know, um, I just want to say sorry for, uh, for the things uh, like I have not produced the video from last couple of months because of some reasons I was having exams and all those stuff uh, but from now uh, we are going to uh, work on something uh, something cool uh, and as you know uh, I, I need to work with uh, or I need to like to work with a designing part for the apps so uh, what we're going to do from now is um, we're going to design the app from sketch to the end so uh, this will basically help you to understand the process of building a complete app from scratch okay so uh, from now we're going to start that now i'll just i'll just tell you the process what we're going to follow now basically uh, this is the process which is followed in the industries which is followed in the company uh, what they will do is um, they'll just uh, make a raw wireframe on the plain paper and then what they'll do uh, if they if if they are satisfied with the raw wireframe and they will shift to the uh, designing tools maybe Photoshop or maybe a sketch uh, it depends on the uh, company so uh, once they are satisfied with the raw fire wireframe they will shift to, to the uh, designing tools like as I said a Photoshop or um, uh, maybe a sketch so uh, they used to develop or the designer will just develop those uh, roughly designed wireframes okay and uh, they will they'll make a Photoshop document or a sketch document and um, once uh, once this part is done they'll actually uh, shift to the coding part now uh, as we know uh, we are using hybrid apps or we are making uh, or we are learning um, uh, hybrid apps so um, uh, we're going to obviously we're going to use html and css to design our ionic so uh, here here what the advantage for uh, for us is uh, if you if you know how to design the apps obviously you you will you're gonna learn how to design the websites because Ultimately, the website is also designed using HTML and CSS, right? So this is the advantage and uh, I'll just let you know the complete process how to use the Ionic icons, where should you modify the things and one more thing uh, from this tutorial uh, we are going to uh, we're going to make a news app design just to design we are not going to implement the functionalities i'll just show you how to design that because a uh, few of my subscriber was just asking me uh, to to make a design complete design for the particular app so uh, from this tutorial or from the next tutorial what we'll do is uh, we will uh, in my next tutorial what we'll do is um uh, we, we're gonna we're gonna uh, design the stuff on the uh, on the rough or the scale or the white plain paper and um, I think um, uh, we will make a news app so we will think what a news I mean a news app should include in the wireframe or in the raw wireframe I mean what are the functionalities where should our card goes how should it look like or what what are the uh, what are the side menu options we have are we going to use um, tabs uh, on the home screen or something like that and then what we'll do is uh, we will once we are complete our wireframing on the plain paper uh, we will try to shift to the designing tools uh, we will we will use sketch because it is so easy to use and if you have never used this sketch before uh, uh, trust me it's so easy it's not a big deal okay and the next thing is uh, once we are done with the uh, designing tools process uh, we will shift to the coding part as well because that's what we are going to we are going to do so uh, for now we are going to create a design app first i mean news app first news design app first and then um we are, if we are done uh, we in future we are going to design more apps for sure 
okay so for now we will do these things now why i'm going to make this series is because um, recently i joined uh, one company and um, basically i'm an intern over here over there and um, what what they what they want is uh, if you are a front-end designer um, you, you should know um, the things like how how exactly it should be pixel perfect okay so that's what we're going to learn in this series right and um, uh, we will make a wireframe and then design tools and then uh, finally coding now when when the coding part comes um, Obviously, we are going to use a Visual Studio code because it's so easy to uh, code and in, in from previous tutorials, I'm using the Visual Studio code. So we, we will obviously we'll go with Visual Studio code and I'll also share the things uh, what what you have to install as a plugins to make you coding stuff easy. What I use, I'll share that. OK, when we once we start the coding, we have many, uh, uh, many, I guess, many of the plugins which makes our coding so easy and one more thing is uh, many plugins like which format our code easily and we can understand the things because what happened in this complete process of designing is uh, we are not going to have a single page of code we will have three to four pages of code and one page of code will contains up to uh, uh, like maybe more than 200 lines of code or more than 300 lines of code so you know if we have 300 line of code it should be nicely indented it should be nicely looking so that we can understand the things easily and if later on we need to change something we can easily change something but if the code is not um, justified or if the code is not well um, and justify then it's it's easy it's not easy to uh, just uh, find the our bugs or find the things which we want to change later on so um, we will we will make sure uh, everything goes on time because um, uh, I have a college whole day and then I come and then I work for my company and then I shoot the video and then I upload because the editing process takes the time so uh, I'll make sure everything goes on time but if sometime I, I I'll be late in producing video then I'm sorry but I'll, I'll make sure I'll just make a video on time and I'll try to update you each and every day so that uh, we can interact more and um, uh, we can learn something new from both the end okay uh, I'm delivering my knowledge to you people and I hope to learn something from you people too because uh, I'm not a pro with an ionic because uh, I'm I'm a student like you people. Many of the many of my subscribers are the student as well. So and what I do is I just take this stuff from the internet, assemble in a one single tutorial, and I try to uh, try to make you understand. So that can be easy for you people, and you can learn something new. So um, try to interact with me because. Um, I have already uh, I have already interacted with many of the subscribers and we have worked before uh, I have I have uh, firstly I have uh, interacted with the Maddie uh, Maddie Hannah and then uh, I guess the second subscriber uh, that is uh, MD Junaid uh, and then I guess many of the subscribers I, I used to interact and uh, when they comment me I used to reply them okay so um, that's what try to interact with me and uh, if you if you're stuck somewhere I'll definitely I'll try to help you uh, because uh, that's why I am over here so that I can provide you and help and we can work together so um, in the next video we will design these news app features we will think of the news app features and uh, we will draw that on the rough paper okay a plain paper that will be our raw ideas what we're going to implement what we're going to design in our app so that's all for this video uh, if you if you're new over here uh, considering subscribing this channel because you're going to learn something new from this channel okay and if you like this series if you like this videos please hit that like button right away and uh, you'll get some pop-ups on the top of the screens 
if you want to connect with me you can follow me on the instagram you can uh, you can be my friend on facebook okay you'll get the profiles on the top of the screens and uh, we have a page on the facebook you can also take a look on a facebook page uh, about some news or about new features what are going to come with the ionic okay so uh, you can also find that page uh, in link in the descriptions and uh, each profile my instagram my facebook profile is linked in the description you can find over there or you can just take a look on the top of the screen you'll get a pop-up over there you can find me and we can be a friends or you can follow me so that we, we can interact easily and i can help you in a best way okay so uh, for now uh, take care i'll see you in my next one